Devastated from the Fearless Four. Group came in. I was down with Menagerie in 1994, signed a Soul Convention. That's Columbia Records. Then from Columbia Records, I had a little high haters. I did a couple of remixes with uh, Clark Kent and the Group Troop, which was Spread My Wings. A lot of cats familiar with that. And um, I came back in uh, 1999 and did a track off of a feature with Cool G Rap, Nas, AZ. Well, basically, to continue, I, I think that I got a legacy to tell. I just finished the book. It's uh, on hiphopmemoirs.com. Also, LA Sunshine. Also, released the book about maybe a year ago. This is I'm, this is the second up, second one up, and I have uh, Team Fearless. www.teamfearless.com.org. I'm sorry, the, my my brain is blurred right now. But also, that's a, another new site that I got out. That's actually it's it's a it, it's like it's helping everybody with medical problems, with uh, the bullying issues and all of that. So if anybody has needs support groups and all of that, we provide that at teamfearless.org. DJ Hollywood was the first guy that I, honestly inspired me to want to do this. When I seen the crowd's reaction, when I seen him captivate that crowd, to me that was the most compelling moment, compelling moment of my, this, this is what started Tito's career in rapping. And that was 1979. I mean, to be honest, outside of the uh, Cool G rap, because I think the Cool G rap is so lyrical. You know, I was able to be around greats like these dudes who, who came from the 80s era, but a, a, a prevalent, like these dudes are relevant right now. So that's my inspiration. Guys who came from my era who's still doing it. Big Daddy Kane, crazy. Dougie Fresh is still one of the greatest entertainers. He came from my era also. Uh, I would say um, Houdini, excellent group. Um, Rakim, love him to death. Right now though, like this era, to me who I do like besides the, uh, and I forgot, sorry, most deaf, Talib Kweli, um, and uh, the Native Tongues. The whole, that whole group is crazy. So now, let me get back to right now, I think that I like Jada Kiss. I know a lot of people say, well, wow, that's two different. To totally two different eras. Love Jada Kiss lyrically, execution wise. Um, content, wordplay. It's something that I can enjoy. He's telling a story, but it's believable. So he brings me right in that hood, right in that atmosphere where I need to be at. I see everything that's going on. So he's just painting that picture for me. I'm in the picture and he's painting it, so I love that. Era change, and I think that uh, for me, for me, coming from the era of partying and, uh, and like having fun, it was like basically uh, when Rhymes wasn't judged or wasn't battling, we went from the party era to the actual braggadocious style, which came in where we just started battling. And um, I was enjoying that until the guns came in, you know, until all the violence came in the hip hop. But to me, that gotta be. One of my, my, ch my challenges was to switch eras because I had to conform. I didn't, I didn't sell myself out, but I had to conform to what was going on in order to stay relevant. So I think that was hard because I had to convince cats that even though I'm from the old school, I was able to make that change. And I think after I made the change, I gotta say that was one of my my gratifying moments because when I got peers like this on stage like Greg Nice and Smooth being and them to come out here and, and tell my story, I didn't tell it, they told my story. That to me is like one of the greatest moments I can have. Tonight, I'm gonna take this home with me. This is tonight probably will be one of my stellar moments in my life, man. Well, as being a new author, it's brand new to me, the whole experience. This is like uncharted, uncharted waters for me. But what I am having fun is I was able to, to actually put all three dynamics in this book. I have, it's an autobiographical book, but I also have fiction in this book, which is really, it's an aggressive read. Um, I also have a screenplay, which nobody ever did in the book. So I'm setting up for a short film. And um, I think that this book here can actually connect 
me with my audience, the ones who didn't know me, those who I'm leaving uh, a footprint behind for these cats, not, not a fingerprint, but a footprint for these cats to actually enjoy who I am and what I did for the, uh, for the industry. It'll be all documented in my book. So please pick it up. It's a really good read. I've been told that one of my biggest, my biggest intros to who I am was because of my, my uh, Latin culture. I came in as one of the first hip hop lyrical Puerto Ricans in the group. So I said, what I say with that is that that might define who I was to everybody else who was looking from the outside in who would define me. When they look at me, they say, well, Tito was one of the most lyrical Puerto Ricans of our era. What we do have coming, like I said, this is the Hip Hop Memoirs movement. It's bigger than just me and L.A. Sunshine. We got Stevie D coming from the Force MDs. His book is going to be published soon. We have uh, DJ Hollywood, which I'm really waiting on that book. That that's a treasure chest right there. Um, we have K.K. Rockwell from uh, the Funky Four plus one more, and we have um, I think after that I want us oh the Trevinci Code, which is actually all about the Treacherous Three. Yes, Fearless Four has just left the studio last week, so we got new product. New stuff for you guys to listen to. It was debuted on Lord Yoda show on 106. And it's a uh, free dome radio. So if y'all didn't see that episode, y'all could tune in. It's on my page, Devastating Tito on Facebook.com. Look me up, friend me. <laughs> Yo, support this right here, man. This is the truth, man. Every word this man say is the truth, man. Please believe that, man. This is real hip hop right here, man. Yeah. Like, it's not a game, man. And I'ma tell y'all, man, I'm a gangster for real, man. But you know what? At the end of the day, and I'ma y'all I'm get this what I'm about to do right now. I'll be right back. Feel me? This is a dawn right here, my nigga. Wow. Feel me? Wow. wow. That's real talk right there, my nigga. Wow. I don't do that. Nobody, man. Wow. Nobody. Wow. None of you faggot niggas get that. <laughs> Feel me? I took a page out of this man. This man lifestyle is real. My life is real, dogs. And I admired those that was real for me. Feel me? Whether it was good or bad, I admired it. Ain't nobody perfect. Feel me? We all had to do what we had to do to defeat our families, man. Maybe, you know what I mean? Fathers wasn't around. I know mine's left. I had to take care of the fam. You feel me? But this is what it is, man. The truth, man. Get that book. Oh, that's the truth right there, man. Ta-da! Gemini. Please get that, man. Support them, man. www.com teamfearless.org And when y'all see that new Fearless 4 joint, please go support that, man, because that's real hip-hop. This is what we need, man.